While state governments like to crow about progressive development, there are certain developments they would definitely not want to flaunt. 2014 not just brought in a new government for India, but was also a year of high-profile arrests and mind-boggling scams. Sharada Scam The Ponzai scam became a major issue in West Bengal in 2014, giving sleepless nights to the ruling TMC as many of its leaders came under the scanner and had to run for cover. After the duping of hundreds of investors allegedly by the Sarada Group, owned by Shudipto Sen last year, the resultant public outcry forced the Mamta Banerjee government to quickly form a commission under the chairmanship of retired judge Shamal Sen with a view to return money to the investors by way of raising taxes. The arrest of top leaders including Transport Minister Madan Mitra and two Rajya Sabha MPs, Srinjoy Bose and Kunal Ghosh by CBI, came as a big embarrassment to the Trinamool Congress. Where the BJP-led centre blamed the Mamta government and CPM for the scam, the TMC hit out at the Modi government in return. Vyapam scam was a massive admission and recruitment scam involving politicians, senior officials and businessmen. The Indore bench of Madhya Pradesh High Court served notices to Madhya Pradesh Professional Examination Board and Medical Council of India following a PIL filed by parents of some students after reports that more than 300 ineligible candidates managed to get into the merit list. Enforcement Directorate under Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 in March 2014 booked MPP EB's exam controller Pankaj Trivedi along with 25 other accused including former MP Higher Education Minister Lakshmi Khan Sharma and his former officer on special duty OP Shukla. Odisha Chit Fund Scam the Arth Tatvachit Fund scam, which has a direct bearing on the poor, exposed the Naveen Patnaik government and its alleged nexus with chit fund managers. The first FIR on this case was registered in 2013 with the arrest of alleged kingpin Sethi. Once CBI took over the probe, the spotlight turned on to connections of the scamsters with key people in the ruling BJD government. On September 11, the BJD's parliamentary board head in the Rajya Sabha, Kalpataru Das, stepped down over scam accusations. Former Advocate General of Odisha Ashok Mohanty resigned after allegations surfaced that he had accepted a luxury house built on nearly 4,000 square feet of land in Katak from Sethi. In August this year, the CBI raided the residence of senior BJD MLA Prabhat Tripathi, who was accused of sending funds from the Arthatattva group for cultural shows. All three of them were later arrested. National Herald Land Scam BJP leader Subramanian Swami took Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Party Vice President Rahul Gandhi to court over the acquisition of the newspaper's assets by a newly floated private company, Young Indian. The Gandhis, who are directors in the new company, own 76% stake in it. The remaining shares are owned by Congress leaders Motilal Vora and Oscar Fernandez, who have also been summoned in the case along with the Gandhis. In his petition, Swami alleged that the leaders had provided interest-free loans to Young Indian to acquire Associate Journals Limited, the company that owned National Herald. He alleged that the company allowed them to grab properties of Associated Journals worth 500 crores using the 90 crore fund of All India Congress Committee. HPCA Land Scam The Himachal Pradesh Vigilance and Anti-Corruption Bureau booked Bharatiya Janta Yuva Morcha President and BJP MP Anurag Thakur, who also heads the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association, for his alleged involvement in a land scam. Anurag and his younger brother Arun were booked for forging documents to purchase a piece of land. Another case was registered against the HPCA for encroachment on 720 square foot of land belonging to the sports department near the cricket stadium at Dharamsala. 18 people were charged on April 25th for alleged wrongdoings in allotment of land to HPCA headed by Anurag Thakur for constructing a plush residential complex for players near its stadium in Dharamsala. Former Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Prem Kumar Dhumal, who is the father of Anurag Thakur, was also summoned in the case. Powered by NNIS